down at the bottom of the garden, among the birds and the bees. A little lot of little people, they call the part into bees. There's creepy black eyed bees and love Keep it a secret now, please. Down on Poddington Green, Dumpy was blowing up Happy's giant air balloon. Zippy ran forwards to tie the knot, and the magnificent balloon was ready for Happy and Bumpy, the two daring adventurers. Choppy cut the rope with his axe, and the balloon floated up into the autumn sky. Beneath them, Poddington looked like a toy town. At Creepy Castle, Creepy was amusing Black-Eyed Pea, reading him a true ghost story called The White Ghosts of Poddington, when suddenly the room went dark. Happy and Bumpy didn't see that they were heading towards Creepy Castle until it was too late. Not so fast, you two, roared Creepy. Look what you've done to my nice castle. Trespass and criminal carnage. You'll pay for this. Captain Black Eye, lock these two in the dungeon until I can think what to do with them. The two prisoners wondered what was going to happen to them. Whatever Creepy was planning, you can be sure that it wasn't very nice. We can't just sit here, said Happy. We must try to escape. So they began searching for a way out. It seemed hopeless. When Bumpy tripped and saving himself from the fall, discovered a secret passage. Unaware that his captives were escaping, Creepy was still deliberating their fate. Happy and Bumpy were now lost in the secret passages beneath the castle. Upstairs, Creepy was still deep in thought, while below, Bumpy's clumsiness opened up secret passage after secret passage. Just as Creepy had come to a decision, What's that? Galt Creepy. Come on, we better investigate. Creepy was worried. In the kitchen, Bumpy upset a whole pile of sacks, sending their contents flying everywhere. An apparition terrified Black Eyed Pea and Creepy, but it was only an old suit of pea armor. Bumpy was making a terrible noise. Right, said Creepy. I'll open the door and you grab whatever's inside. <laughs> it's the white ghost of Boddington. Let me out of here. Happy and Bumpy read the label on the empty sacks. Flower. They thought we were the white ghost of Boddington. Let's scare them some more. So they made more ghost noises. Creepy and Black Eyed Pea were too frightened to go back downstairs. They had only one way of escaping, and that was in the balloon. As they floated away, Creepy said, How do you work this thing? Back on the road to Poddington, Happy and Bumpy waved goodbye. I knew that balloon would come in handy said Happy. Down at the bottom of the garden Among the birds and the bees A little lot of little people They call the part into bees There's creepy black eyed bees and dumb Keep it a secret now please There's zippy happy and the sweet bees the parting to peace, the parting to peace.